Welcome back to another episode of my Ultimate Iron Man. Uh, last time we did a big old medium clue grind, something in the area of 150 or so mediums, uh, all in the search for those coveted ranger boots. And uh, we did not find them. We got every other boot except ranger boots uh, at this point. But nah, that's all right. You know, we're still, we only had like, you know, 230 something like that opened on the account. So uh, there's, there's, you know, still room to go. Uh, one of the things I got catching Eclectics was a whole bunch of gold bars, which I just finished using right about now. Uh, there was probably, you know, more GP, even just selling them would probably be more GP than turning them into tiaras. Uh, but I wanted the crafting XP. It recently dawned on me that, uh, uh, of course I have the Ring of Suffering. It's not on me. It's in the, uh, it's in his spoiler right now. I have the Ring of Suffering, but, like, there's other Zenite jewelry that, you know, well, probably, you know, most UIMs wouldn't would say you know isn't worth it or something like that or you know it's always a big debate. Uh, I think since I have the crystal armor, I have some plans for using the uh, the bova pretty soon. Obviously, I'm trying to go for um, ranger boots right now to put on my pigation uh, to make into pigations and uh, the zerite necklace. I'm pretty sure that's what it ends up being called. Uh, it could be pretty good for uh, for range. So in order to make that, we need what is it? It's 92 crafting, or at the very least, we need to get up to 88, I think, to plus four boost with the uh, the pie. So I figured, hey, I'll take all the crafting experience I can get. All the goals I had about 1,800 gold bars, and uh, that ended up being a little over 60k crafting XP. So took a couple hours to do, but super AFK, super chill. And uh, we are that much closer to the next level. For the uh, meat and potatoes of today's episode, we are going to be heading right back into Serb after our little break. I uh, see I've got 128 more to go, so not quite as many as last time. Should be uh, pretty doable. And setup is all entirely the same, although you will notice I do have my attack pots out. Rather than sacrificing a food, because I said I'd been saving the super strength until I like, you know, run over here, I decided I'll just use the super attack, seeing how, again, even if it, at its like, you know, highest point, it only gives us like three or 4% more chance to hit. So it's not like insane. I think it's better to have the super strength, you know, full effect of that for the, uh, the fight. Uh, we'll see if it's, you know, noticeably any better or anything like that. Um, hopefully, you know, it'll do something. And anyways, you know, I'm, I, I'm confident enough now that I think, you know, I, I'm not sacrificing much by having, you know, one less food into the fight than I did before. And I uh, knew this would be coming. I knew it was getting close, but we are going to get 90 cooking. Uh, we can now cook dark crabs, chiron fish, and psych bats. Is that how you'd say that? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, 90 cooking. That is a, uh, that's a big one. All these sharks we're using. And we just passed 200 KC at Serb. I don't know if I ever mentioned, uh, it's 1 in 512 for any specific crystal, but it's 1 in 128, I believe, just to hit the crystal drop table. So we're still not, we're still under rate for two of them, but we are approaching uh, when we should think we should get our second one here in the next 40 or so kills. Just grabbed another medium clue so that I could uh, make a thumbnail for the previous episode, and it's the Fossil Island step, which I'm pretty sure in the last update, just a couple days ago, they made it so that you can go straight to the island from here, uh, row out to the sea north of the island. Oh, that is so nice. Saves quite a bit of time. Well, we, uh, we hit 250 Serb, Casey. And uh, I wish I could be happy, but I've just had having terrible luck at Serb all day today. I've been got, I got like a three kill max trip. I'm lucky if I get one kill sometimes. It is going real bad for me today. I don't know what's going on. And here we're for our, I don't even know if this is going to be a monthly trip to Tears of God. Like, hey, it might be like freaking four times a year at this rate, but uh, 79 prayer. At this point, every level helps. Level, every letter, every level helps us. Heading out of this trip with uh, KC two five nine, and I'm happy to report that the luck has returned. That was a uh, four kill trip, so uh, it was actually that was was that more than four kills? I just I just had the runax. That was 
a five or six kill trip maybe actually. So yeah, it's really come back. Uh, unfortunately though, I'm here to complain. 256 is the drop rate for hitting the crystal table twice, which we haven't done. Never lucky, shake my head, unbelievable. Well, I had to go and complain, didn't I? There uh, is a new drop from Serb. That is the Eternal Crystal. Not the uh, not the one we were looking for, but uh, hey, it's uh, it's something at least. So we uh, hit the crystal table again, just over rate uh, for the Eternal Crystal, and that is used to upgrade the Infinity Boots into the Eternal Boots, which honestly is not that big of an upgrade. It goes from a plus five magic attack and defense to a plus eight magic attack and defense. Uh, and then there's like a little tiny bit of um, like actual other defenses that the um, Eternal Boots have that the Infinity don't. But other than that, it's really not as good. And, you know, we don't have Infinity Boots. Theoretically, we could get them. I could get full Infinity and store them, in quotes, in the house. Uh, but the uh, process of combining them is, rever or is not reversible. And you can't put the Eternal Boots in the POH. You can only put the Infinity Boots in there. So I couldn't even like justify it like, oh, you know, since the crystal is tradable, I can, whenever I want to use the boots, I can combine them, wear them, and then when I'm done, deconstruct them, put the crystal back in the looting bag, and then put the boots back in the house. Uh, nope, can't do that because uh, the process is irreversible when you make any of the boots. So obviously, you know, for uh, pagations, that wouldn't super matter. Uh, for prims, definitely doesn't matter because that's going to be like a, not something we use all the time, but something we use a lot. Um, and... Uh, also, I'm pretty sure all of the boots themselves are tradable. So again, I guess I could keep the eternal boots in there, but it's just, it's it's not worth it. So uh, rather than uh, dropping them, it is two mil, but again, like, you know, I've mentioned way many times before, don't have alts or anything. I have a free to play alt that I hardly ever play um, that I could bond up, but it wouldn't be worth it for half a bond, maybe even a third of a bond. I don't know how much bonds are now. Uh, so we'll just take the uh, 27K on this account and the collection log slot. Oh, oh, I gotta, I'm risking my computer crashing, but I gotta get a shout out on the ground. Oh, the primordial crystal. We are out of here. I am not risking that. Only 10 more kills left on my trip. It, I mean, we literally just got the Eternals like not that long ago. I'll try and do some editing to see how many it was. I'm not gonna check right now, but oh my gosh, 29 mil for that. That is, oh. That is real, real nice. And then I don't even think, do we even need to, uh, I don't think we need to talk to anybody for this, do we? We can just go ahead and do that. Are you sure you wish to infuse dragon boots? This process cannot be reversed. You know I want to. Oh my word. Primordial boots on the ultimate Iron Man. I look like a freaking hero. Those are, that is really our first like true piece of end game best in slot. Um, fire Cape, I, I love to say I could try to do the Infernal sometime, but I probably won't. Um, I mean, I'll try, but I, I, don't, I don't, I'm not super confident that I'll be able to get it. But that is, I guess the Bova right now is best in slot too with Crystal Armor. But that's like, you know, it's a staple of, of, of RuneScape really, of old school. Um, even though I'm a surprise. According to the wiki, it wasn't actually in like original 2007. I swear you used to like see people with these, but maybe that's just my mind of thinking as dragon boots as normal boots. Because of course I was a little like, you know, if I was in like second grade or something when I played, you know, original, original RuneScape. But uh, that is free. I am so happy we got that. I, I, I enjoy Serb. It's very fun. It can be frustrating whenever, you know, you don't get your kills or something. Or, like if you have to like leave, you know, like when you do well, I can get, you know, five, six, maybe even seven kill trips. But then when you don't do well, I don't get nearly that many kills. So uh, it's just, it can be annoying. And uh, I uh, am happy that uh, we're done. I guess we're not done done. We'll probably, I'll finish out this task and serve just because I'm geared for it. You know, I'm, I've got that, uh, got a lot in my mind. But uh, I think for a while, we'll probably just do normal Hellhounds for our Hellhound task. You know, an easy AFK wish one in the Catacombs. Uh, I would like to come back to Cerberus maybe at some point um, just to try and get the uh, the Hell Puppy. I really, really like that pet. It's it's a top tier one for me, for sure. 
um, as far as pets go. It's up there. Ooh, and we saw the ghost right there at the end, but we pulled it off. Six kill trip to uh, finish my time with Serb. And that is actually going to be uh, the last we see of Serb for quite a while, because we have done uh, fairly well for ourselves at our time here. Take a look at this uh, Cerberus collection log. Not the craziest thing in the world, though I forgot about the, the, the Jar of Souls too. Uh, but 304 kills, all three crystals, no dupes. Uh, pretty, uh, pretty good. The uh, remember it's 100, 1 in 128 to hit the crystal drop table, which includes a smoldering stone. So you know we are under rate for three, not crazy under rate, but under rate. Uh, and we got you know the best ones. No one really ever wants a smoldering stone, although maybe most people would want that over like you know pagasians or something. But still, that was uh, pretty good. I enjoyed that. It just felt a boss that made me very, very much feel like I am a UIM. Uh, it was, you know, took some learning, took some finding some best practices. I felt like I got pretty good about learning and picking up things. It was overall a very, very enjoyable experience for me. Got to make use of Guthins. That's pretty cool. Uh, so, yeah, I am very, very happy with that. It feels like I've been doing serve for a while, even though it's been like, probably only been like three or four weeks, probably eh, three weeks maybe on my account, but it just feels like it's dominated my account for so long. So I'm uh, happy to be moving on to something else. Got rune light notes open here on the side. I was just doing some math. I've been keeping track of uh, sharks, arc light charges, and uh, PR power potion pots we've been using uh, since starting serve. And you see, I broke it up between, I don't think it was technically like, because I had two tasks right in a row, remember? It wasn't like one task, two task. It was like one in like maybe a 20% of the second task. Uh, and then I, when I stopped for medium clues, which is like 180 kills. And of course we got 304 kills total. We can see that here. So uh, pretty, you know, I think prayer pots, 322 uh, and then 240. So that's, uh, if I do some, I should have uh, added this together. Well, I was, uh, so I don't have to edit this, but now I'm going to have to. I, on average, I use about a sip and a half of prayer potion uh, per serb kill, which is pretty good. Uh, it's, it's all right. Um, I, I, don't, I mean, I know for if you were going to do it normally, it's significantly more than that. So I really, truly cannot complain on that front. It uh, very, very much got my money's worth in that regards. Uh, Arc light, I think the charges are, you know, that's pretty much going to be what, what charges can. I don't think I can get any better with that. You know, that's just, you pretty much have an average amount of, uh, you know, charges per Cerberus kill. Uh, I'd probably use a little bit more in the first half solely because I was staying for kills that I shouldn't have. Um, you know, I'd risk it maybe like you know, those extra one or two arc light uh, charges can add up certainly for sure. Or if I had to die or, you know, teleport out or something, that's, you know, charges that get used and don't end up in a kill. But right now it's looking about 18 charges per Cerberus kill, which is, again, pretty good. We get, I mean, we got a lot of Cerberus kills. Uh, we only have, uh, how many, we only have, you know, 4,400 just about charges left. But hey, we finished Serb, so we don't really need Arclight for too much else right now. Uh, the biggest ones you're probably looking up there are Sharks. I used 616 sharks uh, for my very first trip, and then only 254 for my second installment, not trip. So again, like I said, I did more kills at the start, but that is clearly showing I was eating much less sharks uh, at the end. And that could just be good. I think that's more down to getting better with Guthans. You know, I would rather that, you know, like I said, I was like, I would try and hang around 30 HP. If, I'd only eat before a kill uh, if I was under 50 HP, under 40 really, actually, um, just to try and, you know, maximize my heals from Guthans, which clearly is a great way to save on supplies if you are doing that like I am. Like Guthans, I don't think I talked about it enough, but Guthans like definitely does the work to save on your shark supplies because you're not using nearly as much, you know, prayer potions when you go skip, but you still use sharks, you know, you're for PVMing. So I would uh, definitely, you know, I'm a fan of the Guthans method for any uh, any Iron Man. I don't know, Iron Man maybe have uh, better methods out there. If you're a UIM who has happens to have Guthans stored, I know it's not like, you know, 
I think most people probably have Darox stored, but you know, it's it's usable at uh, at Serb for sure. And I'm realizing I never actually went over the uh, loot I got from Serb. I'll throw up the Runelite loot now. I took off a couple of like the really trash ones, like the things I just didn't use, you know, like the, the uncut diamonds or the ashes drops or cannonballs, things that would add value that I didn't really use. Uh, but it was overall pretty good. Obviously all the crystals are in there, uh, prims and eternals, and then the 24 torstal seeds, which is really, really good to have torstal. I've got some of them planted right now, but you see our torstal stack is getting close to a thousand, so that's pretty cool. We got some coal, uh, I've got a hundred dragon bones in there. I already used some of them. I don't know, they must have just happened at the end of one of my trips, so I decided to use them right away. But uh, also, the Infernal Ashes, we ended up getting like 33k prayer XP from all of those. So that uh, that's pretty nice. And then the rest was just Alks or uh, Cash. So uh, overall, I have a 4 mil Cash stack right now. That includes the Medium Clue grind, which like isn't part of Serb, but came with that. I think we got like around a mil, a uh, mil and a half maybe of from just medium so we're probably looking at you know two to two and a half mil of you know alks or cash from serb so that is uh, not bad at all considering we also got you know best in slot boots figured it was about time to clear up the looting bag i'm uh, getting a little fool there and a lot more than none of it is uh, becoming things we're going to keep for a while so it was bound to happen at some point um, i've held on to things i didn't need to hold on to for a while now but uh, for the time being just gonna get rid of the gold. I don't know really why I've been keeping this. I think it just kind of snowballed from gargoyles and getting big drops and not wanting to do blast furnace, but I'm here now. I've got time for it. I was considering just doing super heat um, ore just because like, I wouldn't have to do like as much running as blast furnace, but that's so much more click intensive. I mean, it's not intensive, but a lot more clicks than just blast furnace. So we're gonna try this, see how much XP we can get. We might get a level. I don't know how much it's gonna translate to. That would be nice if we did, but if not, I'll just be happy to uh, have it out of the inventory. And this is going to be my last inventory here on these gold bars. We are not quite going to get a level, as you'll soon see, although we are going to get quite a bit closer than I thought we would. Uh, we have done pretty well for ourselves. 116,000 XP gained, and we are just shy of 10k away from a level. So we will definitely be getting that. Uh, probably even this episode. I have some coal in the looting bag still that I, I want to use up. I don't exactly know the best way to do that, like maybe just using it here, but I feel like it would be an odd method to like run coal and then like I'd use less energy just buying the coal and you still profit anyway, so I really don't know what the best like way to use that would be, but I'll figure something out. Well, uh, I thought I was going to be doing some, you know, OSRS myth busting here. I thought I was real clever trying to figure out a unique way to use my coal. I was like, hey, you know, that Lovakite ore in uh, Hasidius, or not in Hasidius, in, uh, what is the, what's the name? Karen, that's the name of the whole continent. Uh, Lovakite ore, I thought you can use that to make those into like those chazen supply crates. Like I did that in Trailblazer, one of the leagues, and that was actually, it was, it was pretty good XP. I wonder if I could, you know, use that as a decent way to use up my coal. And uh, oh boy, was I, I don't think I'm super mistaken. Like, I think it could be good. Obviously, it's not close to being, like, be the best because, like, nobody does it. Um, and it's definitely not good for Iron Man. As you can see, getting the actual Lovakite ore has gone pretty well like I thought it would. You know, you mine it and then you can superheat it. Just use the core right there. You're right next to a bank. Making the armor is actually where you can tell it. You were not meant to do this all as one set because the default option for smithing is set to all usually and then there's no way to like just make one full set even though I have enough bars in there. I accidentally have made a level three before because like for some reason they let you build lower levels. Like I guess you know you need to for one for like a uh, you know a smithing or like there's a, an elite clue they have to make at least like a tier two I think but at that point why don't you just require like tier two or better and then you just give whatever you know the best one you can give is. So uh, I'm just gonna do, I've done five of them so far. I wanted to see what the XP an hour was like. Uh, I haven't been like crazy efficient or anything, but uh, right now it's gonna be bad. Like look, it's only like 5,000 K smithing an hour. That's because I haven't turned them in. I'll turn them in over here because you get most of your XP from uh, turning in the crates. But then even here you see like where you're not meant to do it all, you know, in, in, on trips. 
I mine the ore. I teleport here, run over here and mine the ore. That's fine. That's fast. Mine to Varrock to Smith on the anvil because, you know, it's the closest anvil to a teleport. And then I have to run all the way down here for the tier four armorer. And I think is the tier five. Yeah, the tier five is all the way down there. It's like you're not meant to do these in one trick. You're clearly meant to do all the math, get all the ore and the bars made, and then make a you know. I know I need to make a hundred you know plate legs. Make all those once. Run back to the bank, bank, and then make the others. Do the same thing for you know plate, like the plate bodies and stuff. But uh, at least we'll get some XP from that. Thirteen thousand. So you know, big XP drop. We're gonna get level eighty-five smithing. Uh, which is actually a big one. We can uh, smith rune now, which is good, because I used to, whenever I'd get rune ore drops, you know, like, I, if I was feeling like a boost to, you know, you get more money for turning them into rune bars real quick, and then alking those into, like, you know, daggers or something. Uh, so that's uh, something we can do now, which is pretty cool. But I'm definitely not going to stick with this, this Lovakite method. Like, it's just not something that's worth it for me. So I guess I'll try Blast Furnace. I don't really want to Maybe I'll get stamps or something just to make it a little more bearable, but I don't really want to do Blast Furnace that much. I don't know. We'll see. And this is where I'm going to end things this episode. I'm actually going to be able to upload this one only one week after my last one. Usually I do every two weeks. That's mainly due to just, you know, working. And also, you know, sometimes it takes a while to get content for these videos. Although, to be fair, the, even though I've been doing two week videos, they've been a little longer than I like. Like they're usually over 25 minutes. I'd like to keep them around the 20 minute mark if I can't. Like I'd like for 20, 21 minutes to be a long video. So uh, I don't know what you guys prefer, what most people prefer, but that's generally how I feel about it. Though I've never, you know, as long as people watch the videos, I'm happy about it. So uh, this video was very crazy with Serb. Uh, it didn't dawn on me until kind of, you know, the word yesterday was like, we've got every single one of the crystals like that is pretty crazy for obviously we had more than one task but uh you know that is a little insane for cerberus like just to get it all done don't have to worry about you know oh when's the next time we're gonna get a serve task keep looking out for a serve task it's uh it's really you know really freeing we can just kind of when i get back into slayer we can just get back into slayer which uh, I'm looking forward to doing. Uh, I think I'm still probably gonna do medium clues to start next time, just, I think like what, I need like 150, maybe 200 more. I really just wanna try and get to the, uh, that 400 mark or hopefully get rangers. I would love to have rangers. And I do, I hate to say it, but I do almost kind of regret not keeping the eternal crystal just so I could have, you know, had the meme of going to get infinity boots and having all three, but like it would have been just a meme. It would not have been something that I think is worth having a bag slot in my account so anyway uh thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed my uh my first uh trip to serb and uh, hopefully i'll see you in the next video have a good one